Global Ethics Corner from the Carnegie Council. Perhaps slow job growth has roots in more than the Great Recession. Perhaps the roots are also in new technologies. What if not only the production, but also the insight, creative spark, and design of goods happen without human input? Markoff in the New York Times notes that tension between artificial intelligence and intelligence augmentation, AI and IA, has been at the heart of the progress in computing science as the field has produced a series of ever more powerful technologies that are transforming the world. Traditionally, economists have argued that while new forms of automation have displaced jobs in the short run, over long periods of time, economic growth and job creation have continued to outpace any job-killing technologies. Artificial intelligence may be different. AI emphasizes linguistic, problem-solving, and creative components, which can actually replace rather than augment people's job skills. Markov cites contrasting examples from online news systems developed by Yahoo and Google. In selecting content, Yahoo uses a 21st century version of a traditional newspaper wire editor augmented by sophisticated computers, while Google uses a sophisticated software algorithm, person versus computer. We see the same dynamic on military battlefields. What do you think? Are computers likely to increase human productivity and enhance the quality of life? Is technological joblessness a likely condition for future generations in a post-industrial society? Which is more likely or desirable, intelligence augmentation, IA, or artificial intelligence, AI? This is William Vokey. Made possible by the Carnegie Council for Ethics and International Affairs. Post a comment at www.carnegiecouncil.org.